What's been the, t- I'd, I'd say the toughest thing about being a, a woman in comedy? Oh, it's such a hard one. Um, I think particularly in Singapore, I'm less of an anomaly now, but certainly when I started, I think I was the only white woman oh, yeah. in comedy. So I was like two things removed from most of the, yeah. most of the scene. Um, I, th- I think, you know, I don't want to get into this whole like, oh, we don't get the same opportunities because I am really lucky and I do get great opportunities. Um, it's hard, you know, it was hard to step into that scene where everybody knew each other. It was a lot of, even, you know, wherever I am comedy wise, a lot of men, it's a lot of banter and to like insert yourself into that and to feel comfortable in that room, you know, in the green room with everyone. Um, you know, and I grew up with all women. So my mum was a single mum. I have a daughter. I have two sisters. So I, this male energy thing is, it's still new to me now. And I have this joke where I'm not, not an onstage joke, but you know, I joke with my friends, like I got to get some female friends, man. Like, Mm. cause I spend all my, that's actually the hardest thing is like, I am not programmed like the men are. So when I first started, I was like, I'm going to do every post show drink. I'm going to do all of them. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be friends with everyone. And then I started to realize, you know what? Like I don't actually have to do that. And it's a different energy from, you know, it's hard for me sometimes to keep up with the banter and stuff. You know, not to keep up with the banter, but you know, the, the man banter. The, uh, yeah. And I was, you know, exhausted after a while with it. So now I'm, I have a different approach. That was probably the hardest thing though, was feeling like I could fit in Mm. um in terms of opportunities i i do think in general there are less opportunities for women in comedy i feel like i have to prove myself a thousand times more than if i was a man but i could not tell you whether that was based on fact or my own perception so i don't want to claim that um that that's probably a lot of people's thoughts so interesting what's this what's this male banter that you don't feel like you're a part of um I just, it's just a different world. You men are just, you're just different people. Like it's, uh, I just wasn't used to, you know, you kind of talk, you roast each other a lot. Like I, I'm with my female friends. We're like, oh my God, you're incredible. No girl, you're incredible. Oh my God, you should definitely text him 78 times, even though he hasn't replied and blocked your number and moved house. You should so do that. Um, but men, they're like, did you suck? <laughs> and it's like, so true. and I'm like, but then they do it to me, the guys. And part of it, it makes me feel super, super included. So the first time I ever felt included in Singapore is amazing comic. Um, his name's Cam. You're going to meet him because he's going to do my show. He's here in Melbourne right now. Um, and he just like roasted me about something. I barely knew him. And I was like, thank God. Thank God. I feel so accepted. Um, You're one of the boys now. I literally felt that. It was the first time I thought he was really mean to me. And it was the first time I thought, I think I might have some friends on yeah, this scene. I'm in. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it is hard to, sometimes it's tiring. I get it. I know. Cause I, I feel the same way. Oh, interesting. That's why I don't like hanging around too much, to be honest. Oh. Cause it's like, it's draining on my energy. I'm like, I already went on stage two times three times in a night just trying to tell these jokes i'm i'm I, I use my body a lot i'm physical i'm loud yeah and so it's like now i now i have to keep up with these other comics who are trying to be funny off stage like nah i'm trying to go home and watch some youtube or some shit like 100%. i want to be by myself 100%. and so i i totally understand where, how, where you're coming from and it's like some of these yeah some of the banter too i'm like it's not really my style of humor either. Mm. I'm like, I don't know. I, I don't have, I have nothing to add. And then now I feel like, like I'm not included and it, it feels, it feels weird, but like, it's almost like a, a rite of passage sometimes to be included in it. And it's like, if they roast you, obviously that means they like you. Right. Um, so I totally get why you would feel that way with the other comic who roasted you. You're like, Oh my God, thank God. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, that means he likes me. Yeah. I was like, someone wants to be my friend, but it's same as you. I'm drained after the show. And like, sometimes I'm like, people expect me to be funny, whether it's comedians or non-comedians. And sometimes I'm like, I, I, I got nothing for you, buddy. Like I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. Has there ever been a time where like there's, there, you're in a group setting with comics and they're talking and they're like laughing about random shit. Uh, and then you feel obligated to almost chime in, but like you don't have anything. Oh my God. Do you have this as well? I, this happens to me all the time. And I'm like, am I actually funny? Am I, maybe I'm just super boring. It's like my brain goes, nope. Shut yeah. Up. Nothing. Nope. You have used up all your funny for today. Sorry. Yeah. Please come back tomorrow. Yeah. No, mm. I, that happens to me sometimes where I'm like, 
I, I'm not trying to impress anyone. It's just like, it would be nice if I had something to chime in with. But it's like, half the time, I'm just like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Smiling. Kind of like smiling away. Like, yeah. Kind of like fake laughing sometimes, you know? Like, not really fake laughing. It's more like, I'm still like, I, I, I find it funny. It's just um maybe like if i don't have anything to say at least i can chime in with like my my sound from coming from my body yes like oh he's listening <laughs> at least he's there yes but there's other otherwise it's just like it's too much sometimes completely i completely agree and i i love it i love i say that but hanging out with comics is also my favorite thing in the whole world well it's also like there's no other people in the world that are going to talk about all the different topics in the span of five minutes than comics would exactly so that's why it's fun in, in in many different ways and it's like interesting and also like these people like you almost like you get each other because you're in the same field and so you almost feel like it's uh it's a safe space to to be fucking weird a hundred percent you won't feel judged that's but that's not all comics because there are some comedians who are very like woke or fucking i don't know weird or triggered by everything and like you can't say certain things around them for sure those people i'm not talking about those people i'm talking about the the comics who are just like they have no boundary like those are the my favorite people because i'm like you're not gonna judge me you're also gonna add some fucked up shit to this conversation but if anybody else heard this we'd go to jail you know what i'm saying it's kind of like that kind of a thousand percent <laughs> and, and 